med history. Rabies is an infectious zoonosis of viral etiology characterized by predominantly severe damage to the central nervous system, threatening death. A person becomes infected with rabies when bitten by animals. Spreading through nerve fibers, the rabies virus initially increases their excitability and then causes the development of paralysis. Penetrating into the tissues of the spinal cord and brain, the virus causes gross violations in the work of the central nervous system, clinically manifested by various phobias, attacks of aggressive arousal, hallucinatory syndrome. Rabies is still an incurable disease. For this reason, it is difficult to overestimate the importance of preventive anti-rabies vaccination given to a patient in case of an animal bite. The rabies virus has the appearance of a rifle bullet measuring 75 to 175 nanometers with one flat and the other rounded ends. The RNA-containing virus is externally covered with a glycoprotein framework having specific spikes, receptors. Glycoprotein G is responsible for the penetration of the virus into the cell and immunogenicity. During vaccination, antibodies are formed to it, neutralizing the virus. Inside it contains a nucleocapsid and matrix proteins, N protein, L protein, NS protein. There are seven serotypes of the rabies virus. Serotype one is widespread in the Russian Federation. The rabies virus enters the body through damaged skin and spreads along the fibers of nerve cells, to which it has a pronounced tropicity. In addition, it is possible for the virus to spread through the body with blood and lymph flow. The main role in the pathogenesis of the disease is played by the ability of the virus to bind acetylcholine receptors of nerve cells and increase reflex excitability and subsequently cause paralysis. The penetration of the virus into the cells of the brain and spinal cord leads to gross organic and functional disorders of the central nervous system. Patients develop hemorrhages and swelling of the brain, necrosis and degeneration of its tissue. The pathological process involves cells of the cerebral cortex, cerebellum, optic tubercle, and subcutaneous region, as well as the nuclei of cranial nerves. Eosinophilic formations, babesha negri corpuscles, are observed inside the neurons of the brain under microscopy. Pathological cell degeneration leads to functional disorders of organs and systems due to impaired innervation. From the central nervous system, the virus spreads to other organs and tissues, lungs, kidneys, liver, and endocrine glands, etc. Its entry into the salivary glands leads to the release of the pathogen with saliva. The source of infection can be dogs, up to 99%, foxes, bats, wolves, cats, and small rodents. Any mammal and birds can get rabies, but in the vast majority they do not pose a danger to humans, for example, birds. How can you get rabies? Transmission mechanism. Contact. When bitten or blinded, infection is rarely possible when cutting up a slaughtered animal. An aerosol mechanism of infection is unlikely, for example, in a cave inhabited by bats, alimentary, when eating animals that have fallen from rabies. The transplacental pathway is when the virus is transmitted from an infected mother to a child. The transplantation pathway is used for organ transplantation from people who died of rabies with an incorrect diagnosis. In general practice, the virus is transmitted only through saliva. Everything else is a casuistic case when eating an animal, through the brain matter, during corneal transplantation, etc. Transmission of the virus from person to person by bite or kiss, by mouse bite, except bats is theoretically possible, but no such cases have been reported. The increase in morbidity is characterized by a periodicity depending on natural conditions, fluctuations in the availability of rodent food supply, and the number of carnivorous animals. Rabies has a different incubation period, which depends on the bite site. It can be from a couple of weeks to several months, and in rare cases, even up to a year. The disease proceeds through three periods. The initial period is characterized by behavioral changes, headaches, sleep and appetite disorders, as well as various mental manifestations. After that comes the stage of arousal, with phobias such as the horror of water, air, light, and sounds. Then a paralytic stage will follow, with apathy, weakening of movements, and other symptoms. During the arousal stage, patients experience fear when trying to drink, which can lead to attacks of suffocation and seizures. During this period, Hallucinations, aggressive behavior, and other unpleasant symptoms are also observed. Then comes the paralytic stage, 
which can be accompanied by tachycardia, low blood pressure, and other serious complications, up to cardiac arrest and respiratory arrest and death. Rabies Clinic In humans, the following periods, stages of the disease are distinguished. Incubation period, the prodromal period, the stage of precursors, the stage of arousal, the stage of paralysis. The incubation period in humans with rabies ranges from six days to three months, sometimes up to a year or more. The duration of the incubation period depends on the location of the wound, the distance of the wound from the brain. A short incubation period is observed with multiple bites to the face, head, and neck. A long incubation period is observed with bites in the limb. The duration of the incubation period also depends on the infecting dose, the amount of virus that entered the wound, the degree of tissue damage, and the age of the victim, in short, in children. The incubation period for the transmission of the virus by volatile mice are three, four weeks old. The prodromal period, the harbinger stage, lasts one, four days. During this period, irritability, insomnia, sensitivity disorders in the wound area, malaise, fear, anxiety, anxiety are noted. Aching pains, itching, and pain along the nerves appear at the bite site. Subfebrile temperature is noted, headache, a feeling of discomfort, irritability, insomnia, unreasonable fear, anxiety develops. The arousal stage lasts four, seven days. During this period, seizures, difficulty swallowing food, spasmodic contractions of the muscles of the pharynx and larynx, noisy breathing, auditory and visual hallucinations are noted. Seizures increase when trying to drink, at the sight of pouring water, hydrophobia, from a puff of air, aerophobia, bright light, photophobia, noise, acoustophobia, loud sound, phonophobia, and from other influences. The first clinically pronounced attack of the disease, paroxysm of rabies, it often develops suddenly under the influence of some kind of stimulus. The attack is characterized by flinching of the whole body, stretching the arms forward, bending the head back. The attack lasts for several seconds and is accompanied by painful cramps of the pharyngeal muscles, leading to shortness of breath. During the attack, the face cyanotic expresses fear and suffering. The gaze is fixed on one point. Hiccups and vomiting are often observed. There is abundant salivation. Sticky sweat is released. The attacks follow one after another. After the end of the attack, patients, they come to a state of rest. If death does not occur during the next attack, the disease goes into a paralytic period, the period of paralysis. During this period, attacks of hydrophobia and aerophobia cease. Patients begin to drink and eat. Fear and excitement disappear. There is hope for recovery. This improvement lasts for one, three days. Then lethargy, apathy develop. Cardiovascular activity is disrupted. Paralysis of the eye muscles, limb muscles, and cranial nerves appear. Pelvic organ dysfunction. Death occurs after five, seven days from the onset of the disease from paralysis of the respiratory and vascular centers. Diagnosis of rabies. The material for the study is saliva, blood, and sectional material, tissues of the brain and submandibular salivary glands. Viroscopic examination is carried out in order to identify cells in the cortex of the hemispheres, the ammonian horn, and the cerebellum of Babesh Negri bodies formed by clusters of virus nucleocapsids and located near the nuclei. For this purpose, special staining methods are used, according to Romanovsky Gimza, Morozov, Mann, Muromsev, Turovich, or the immunofluorescence method. Virological examination involves the isolation of the virus from the saliva or lacrimal fluid of a patient or brain tissue of a deceased person. It is performed by intracerebral injection of the test material to white suckling mice or rabbits. The virological method is very rarely used. In the positive case, animals develop fatal paralysis, and inclusion corpuscles and virus antigens are detected in brain tissues with the help of RIF. However, the duration of the biological study is from 2 to 28 days. The method of fluorescent antibodies, MFA, allows to detect up to 98% infected samples. This method makes it possible to detect pathogen antigens in corneal prints in vivo or posthumously in the brain and salivary glands. MFA is based on microscopic examination in ultraviolet rays of drugs treated with anti-rabies globulin, conjugated with fluorescein isothiocyanate. Recently, a polymerase chain reaction, PCR, 
has been developed to detect viral RNA in saliva, lacrimal fluid, skin biopsies, and cerebrospinal fluid. ELISA Detection of antigens and antibodies to rabies virus in serum blood and CSF brain tissues. Treatment of rabies No specific treatment for rabies has been developed. A rabies patient must be placed in a separate room and protected from any external stimuli. Wounds are treated with antiseptics. Symptomatic and pathogenetic agents are prescribed. Sedatives, anticonvulsants, detoxification, vitamins. When clinical symptoms of the disease appear, patients cannot be saved. The prognosis for the developed disease is unfavorable. There are no reliable cases of recovery. The basis of treatment is the creation of an artificial active immunity during the long incubation period. Immunization carried out in the next few hours after contact with a sick animal, as a rule, prevents the development of the disease and death. In the case of a short incubation period, intense active immunity does not have time to form. Therefore, in severe bites of dangerous localization, in order to create passive immunity, the victim is also injected with anti-rabies immunoglobulin. Rabies prevention is primarily aimed at reducing the incidence among animals and limiting the likelihood of being bitten by stray and wild human animals. Pets are necessarily subjected to routine rabies vaccination. Decreed categories of citizens, veterinary workers, dog catchers, hunters, etc., are immunized with an anti-rabies vaccine, triple intramuscular injection. A year later, a revaccination is performed, and in the future, if the risk of infection remains high, it is recommended to repeat immunization every three years. In case of an animal bite, a set of measures aimed at preventing rabies is necessarily carried out. The wound is washed with medical alcohol, treated with antiseptics, and a septic bandage is applied, after which you should immediately contact a trauma center or a surgeon or a paramedic of the FAP. A course of preventive anti-rabies vaccination, dry inactivated vaccine, and passive immunization, anti-rabies immunoglobulin, is carried out as soon as possible. The scheme of preventive injections depends on the location of the bite, the depth of the wound, and the degree of saliva contamination. Rabies prevention is primarily aimed at reducing the incidence among animals and limiting the likelihood of being bitten by stray and wild human animals. Pets are necessarily subjected to routine rabies vaccination. Decreed categories of citizens, veterinary workers, dog catchers, hunters, etc., are immunized with an anti-rabies vaccine, triple intramuscular injection. A year later, a revaccination is performed, and in the future, if the risk of infection remains high, it is recommended to repeat immunization every three years. Historical background. In 1880, L. Pasteur, together with E. Roux and Shane Chamberlain, began work on obtaining a rabies vaccine. They injected intracerebral suspension of the brain of a dog killed by rabies into a rabbit. From the fallen animal, they again prepared a suspension of brain tissue and injected it into the next rabbit. As a result of numerous passages, they received a rabies vaccine in 1885. At this time, the scientist was approached by women whose rabid dogs had bitten children. They were Joseph Meister, 9 years old, and Jean-Baptiste Jupil, 14 years old. Thanks to vaccination, both boys were saved. J.B. Jupil on the territory of the Pasteur Institute in Paris, a monument depicting a boy fighting with a rabid dog was erected. I. Meister worked at the Pasteur Institute as a doorman until the end of his life. After these cases of escape from death, people who suffered from bites of rabid animals began to turn to El Pasteur for help. They applied not only from France, but also from other countries, including Russia. For example, on March 1, in 1886, El Pasteur received a telegram from the city of Beli, Smolensk province, stating that 20 people were bitten by a rabid wolf. El Pasteur invited them to Paris. 17 people were saved. Then a group of seven people arrived from the Oral province, bitten by a rabid wolf. All the victims who arrived this time were rescued. Pasteur rabies vaccinations have been recognized worldwide, and since in 1888, Pasteur stations for vaccinations began to be established in many countries. In Russia, the first Pasteur station was established in 1906 in Odessa II, Meknikov and NF Gamaleya. In 1892, the Romanian microbiologist V. Babes and in 1903, the Italian microbiologist A. Negri described specific inclusions in the neurons of the brain of animals killed by rabies, Taurus Babesha Negri.